Right, what Alex is doing is she's got her two dowsing rods in the search position and she's walking forward until such time as she gets a reaction which she gets just by there and at this point she's putting in a flag to mark where she got her reaction from the dowsing rods and she's also got another flag in which shows the actual where she loses the, the reaction again so in other words what she's finding is uh, the start of something and the finish of something which means you've got something of some comparable thickness there which we don't know what it is yet but hopefully we will find out in due course and she will go around now um, just doing what doing what the rods tell her to do more or less because she doesn't know when the rods are going to move uh, she just waits for a reaction and at that point she keeps putting the flags in and eventually some sort of line or appears but in this instance we seem to be getting a, a, a curve and we don't know what it is um, but we will find out in due course but again that's the outside of a structure and that is now the inside of a structure so we now know that we've got a wall that does seem to be of some considerable thickness Alex is now carrying on plotting what it is that seems to be under the ground there and again we don't know but it's starting to take some sort of shape and that's something we'll investigate in due course. She's continuing her plotting and she seems to be finding some sort of circle but she's not too certain on that little piece of dowsing so she's going back and she's just checking with her own unconscious mind now and there she, she confirms that that's exactly where she needs to be and again she's putting in one side of a wall and the other side of a wall and you can see it's a comparatively thick structure whatever it is that um, that she's creating when alex has completed her dowsing what she's going to do now is uh, remove the flags and also uh, so that we can get a better aerial shot of, of the what seems to be some form of circle although we can only see it from our land position or ground position hopefully the drone will show it in its all its glory uh, so therefore we're going to put these uh, markers in just to show it up in greater detail Are you going to find out if it's a man-made structure? If we have got uh, a, a structure there, there's got to be some way of getting in and out of it. So uh, Alex is now going to search to find out if we've got a doorway and if we have, where it is.
Alex is now going to check whether she's standing inside a man-made structure. Uh, she's lifting the rods up to a search or question position and she's asking the question. Now, she's asked the question and the rods have gone out, which means she's outside a man-made structure. She's now walking within this more or less circle and she's now going to ask the same question again. Am I now standing inside a man-made structure? and the the rods crossed inwards which is her yes so she now knows she's definitely inside a structure whereas before she was actually outside a structure which all helps to confirm that we've got something really sensible here right she's now standing between the two flags and she's checked to make sure that she's standing over a man-made structure but she wants to find out how far down it is so what she's doing is basically using ground penetrating radar but just just from her own abilities and we can all do this so she's using ground penetrating radar she's asking a question and she's going down um, in small increments at first maybe 5 inches 10 15 20 inches and then and when she gets down to so far the rods will cross and that will be the depth at the top of the, the remains of the structure that four foot down. And can you tell us how old it is? And she's now going to find out how old the wall is. And again, it's just quite simple. She's the dowsing rods are in the search position. And she's now going back to um, 1600 or whatever. And she's coming up in centuries. So she's coming up in 16th century, 17th century, 18th century. Now, when, when it came up to 18th century, she got a reaction, which means it's 1700 and something. So she goes back to 1705, and then goes up in multiples of 5 or 10. And as she says, she came up to about 1790, almost 1800, and then she got a reaction. 18. 18. Yeah. Okay. Right, so it's 1700 and something. Okay. So start at 1701. Every time she calls out a number or a time period, the rods will start to move slowly and when she gets to the actual date of the construction, then the rods will go right across her body, which means that is the final date that that building has been constructed. Under normal circumstances, we would be out working, trying to find water for people. And when we're doing that, we're going having to go down maybe two, three, four hundred feet in the ground. So that is that it really is ground penetrating. But we're all capable of doing it. Everybody with a head on their shoulders can do it. You just have to believe in the fact and then give it a go. If you don't think it works, it doesn't matter. The fact is, you can think what you like. In actual.